Hi, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net and this is a short tutorial on how to use ClicksTracks as a way to have free banner tracking. In fact, you can track even text links from within your website and see how many people are clicking on them, which might be very handy for if you're trying to get people to advertise on your site or sponsor your site. So clickstrack.com is the URL and it's free for a limited version. Um, and the site we're going to be working on is bctraveljams.com. This is the one I'll be teaching you from. And it's a wonderful website you should visit about traveling in British Columbia. And eventually we'll have ads on here. So let's start adding links to this website in a way where we can go say later to Bard on Beach Shakespeare Festival administrators and say, look, we've had 2,000 people link through to your website. Wouldn't you like to start advertising? And, um, and you can actually show them the numbers. Now, in order to do this, you have to know the URL of where you're going. And so I googled Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. And then I opened a text file. And I recommend that you have a text file. I'm using text to edit. If you're on a PC, you can use Word, WordPad or Notepad or Word. Just start a file called Links. I've already done one for the Museum of Anthropology on this site, and this is the next one I'm going to do, which is the Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. And I googled it and I found their URL. So I have the name of the link, I have the normal URL of the link, and now we're going to come up with the new clicks track one, which is going to help us keep track of how many people are clicking through. Okay, so I've got my text file ready with the correct URL to the location. And now we're going to go to clicks track. And first I'm going to copy the, the name of it, the name of the link. I'm going to copy it. I just did a right click, even though I'm on a Mac because I have a right click button, but you can choose edit, copy. And I'm going to use the tabs that are available to me in Firefox. You can get use tabs in almost any browser now. Just choose file, new tab, or hit a plus sign to open a new tab. And then you can be clicking back and forth from clicks track to your website. So I'm clicking back to clicks track and I'm going to create a tracker. I've already logged in. You're going to have to create a username and password and register with them. I've already logged in and I'm clicking on create tracker. And you want to create a campaign. Um, if you haven't already, uh, you can just create one or they may have one called free clicks. I forget, but if not, go ahead and create one. Oh, new campaign. You would just go ahead and create a new campaign, give it a name and a description, next step. In my case, we already have a campaign, clicking on free clicks, and now I've selected the campaign, and all I want is a basic tracking URL, okay? I don't want any of these other things, which you could look into, but in our case, we're only using this for text links on the website, so I clicked on it, and now Remember how I copied the name? So I'm just going to paste. I just right clicked and pasted. But now I have to get the URL. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my notepad file and copy the URL. Copy. And then I'm going to go back here and right click next to the URL field and paste. So I've got that. Now all the other functions here are only when you pay them. So you're welcome to pay them and get more functions, but we're just doing the free version for now. And I'm clicking on Save Tracking URL Settings. Now here's the URL. So I'm going to highlight it, right click, copy, go to Notepad. In my case it's Text Edit. Hit Return and Paste it. You can choose Edit Paste or you can do any form of pasting you like. So now we've got our clicks track link, okay? So I'm, I've got that in my clipboard, I've copied it, and I'm gonna go to my website where I want it to be. But first I have to log in, and this is a Joomla 1.6 website with front-end login. So I'm just gonna click on login, 
and log in. And so I have to get back to the page where I was. I'm just going to hit the back button twice and refresh. Okay, the way I refresh, you can put your cursor anywhere that's blank and right click and choose reload or refresh, which is what I'm doing. Now you see a new little icon that's got a pencil, and that means that I alone, only I, can edit this article. Nobody else will be able to see that little pencil. And now it's as if we're in Word. I'm going to highlight the thing I want to link just by dragging over it, and then click on the link icon, and then click in the URL, right click, and paste. So now I've got the ClicksTrack URL, the text is right, and I'm going to go down to Target. This is using the JCE Content Editor, which I highly recommend for Joomla. It makes things a lot easier. I'm going to click on Target and choose to open it in a new window so that they're not navigating away from your website. And I'm going to do a little trick. When you roll your cursor here, it says you can have text display in a tooltip when the mouse is placed over an element. I'm going to use that. In fact, I'm going to copy this text here by highlighting it, right-clicking and copying it. And then I'm going to put it down here and say visit the, paste it. Okay, so visit the bard on the beach. You can just type if you're not comfortable with copying and pasting. Visit the Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival website and, and, then, and then put an exclamation. Close the new window when you're ready to return to BC Travel Gems. Period. Okay, now I'm going to say insert, clicking on insert. So now you can see that's purple. It's hard to see, but, um, but when you roll your cursor over it, it says the text I just typed in. And now all I have to do is hit save. Okay, I'm hitting save. Now it's telling me the, the, the article was successfully saved. And if I were to log out right now, all this extra stuff would go away because the rest of the world can't see uh, this editing information. And I will log out. I'm going to go to the login button and hit log out. So now if I go back and refresh by say right clicking here and choosing reload or you could make it might say refresh on your browser. See this link? And you roll your cursor over it it says visit the Bard on the Beach Shakespeare Festival. Close the new window when you're ready to return to BC Travel Gems. I'm going to click on this. See how a new window opens up and now we're at Bard on the Beach. And I'm going to close this now. So let's go back to Clicks Track and see what it says. So let's go to Stats up here at the top. Stats. Scroll down, go to Daily Stats. And let's look at today. And, and we're using the free, the free Clicks campaign and choose Go. Scroll down. You can see that there were two clicks today to the Treehouse Bed and Breakfast, one click to the Museum of Anthropology, and one click to the Bard on the Beach Festival. So this is where your stats would be, and this is what you could print out or show your potential advertisers. And that's how you use ClicksTrack, uh, along with Joomla 1.6 with Front End Editing and JCE Content Editor. <laughs> you can apply these techniques even if you have uh, Dreamweaver, if you, if you know what you're doing, or any other WordPress for that matter. It's just going to be slightly different. So enjoy ClicksTrack and Joomla. Again, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net.